every day, men and women in this great country wake up and set about building their dreams. They are the lifeblood of our land. They are the workers. And this is Workers' Prayer. Good morning, South Africa. Welcome to one more Workers' Prayer. We're still going through a lot of struggles on account of the coronavirus. But remember, God always manifests His power at difficult times. Therefore, do not despair. Don't look down on yourself. Don't consider your problems more than the promises of God because God is the same. The same God who opened the Red Sea he is here now with us, and He indeed wants to transform your life. So don't be afraid. My name is Akile Endrum Chika. My life was terrible. I was addicted to cigarettes. I was addicted to Dacha. I was addicted to Mendrex and also alcohol. Um, I used to be involved in uh, criminal activities. I got arrested three times, uh, twice for, for robbery. The first time was pavement robbery. The second time was armed robbery. And the last time was for assault. My life changed when I came to the spiritual treatment. Somebody left, um, I was still in prison. Somebody left a newspaper on my bed and I read it. He talked about having faith in God. And uh, that's when I decided that my life should change because I was tired of living the life I was living. I engaged myself in uh, chains of prayers. I attended Mondays for, for, for my financial life, and then I also attended uh, Tuesdays, but even though I was not sick, but I, I, I attended every day, also Wednesdays, so that I can have peace inside my heart. I also attended Thursdays for my families, and on Friday for deliverances, and uh, on Sundays. I, I had to give up bad friends, I had to give up like uh, all the people I used to hang around with. I had to stop smoking, although it was difficult, but I gradually, slowly stopped smoking. I first stopped uh, smoking Mendrex, and then, but it was difficult to stop uh, smoking Taha, but eventually I was able to stop smoking Taha. And now my life has changed. I'm free. I don't smoke anymore. I don't drink anymore. Uh, I live a, a free life and uh, I have peace inside of me. I'd like to thank God for the peace that he has given me. I'd like to thank God for the relationship I have with him right now. I'd like to thank God for, for, for protecting me like all these years when I was in a, a, a good person. God was very patient with me up until, up until uh, I got, uh, got saved because now he is, uh, I have salvation and I got blessed with the Holy Spirit and um, 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 every day of my life, I'm picking my cross and I'm following Jesus daily. So observe that while he was befriending those angry type of guys, he was always, you know, getting involved in trouble and problems, but he learned how to use his faith and your life can change also. Let us pray. My Father, in the name of your Son, Jesus, we enter your presence in this moment on behalf of people who are out there suffering like Sakili was, angry all the time and thinking that his life had no more way out, but it did. His life changed. The moment he learned how to use his faith, his life transformed. And I believe, my Father, that the life of those who are praying with us right now can change also if they are willing to do what it takes to transform their life. Therefore, I bless them. And I bless them being certain that when they drink from this glass of water, they are going to receive inner healing. I bless the workers of South Africa. I bless them all in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. I believe that God is going to transform your life as well. Therefore, don't be afraid. Tomorrow, 5 to 6 in the morning, we are going to be back with one more worker's prayer to bless you, to inspire you. Make sure you have your glass of water next to you, ready for the prayer. Until tomorrow, bye-bye. Worker's Prayer.